Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to discuss and show you around the Cisco WebEx meeting. Now this is an app, it's, it's again a video call and a Zoom kind of app, but this is most probably used in the workplaces. Most of the companies prefer using this particular software to conduct their day-to-day -day meetings and all those group chats and group video calls that happen. So in today's video, just for the beginners out there who are just about to get the hang around this particular software and we're just going to start on the journey of using this particular software i'll be discussing all the basic things that you need to know all the additional things that are available in this particular small software that can definitely help you to make your video calling to make your meetings a lot more better let's jump and dive straight into the video now once you would have downloaded and installed cisco webex this would be the first dialog box that will come in front of you and it will have three different options such as message people, meet with people or call someone. So if you have or if you have already got something in your mind that if you want to message uh, people in the app or if you want to meet with people as in if you want to conduct a meeting or a group video call or if you want to just call someone like one person at a time, you can straight away just select these options. Otherwise, for the beginning out there, you can just click on I'll just look around and it will straight away take you into the main interface of the software. Now, right now, uh, if you're going in uh, to the software for the very first time, it will ask you for all the name, your email ID, your password, if you're logging in for the very first time. So simply just create your account. Once that is done, this would be the interface that will come in front of you. Now, some people have seen that they find this software a bit confusing as the very beginning part, but let's see what options are actually useful for us so that we can start conducting our meetings from today itself. Once you get into that, now this is my profile up here on the top left corner. Once you click on your name, you will see a lot of different options here. Now, if you want, you can download the app on your phone by clicking on mobile download. It will send you a link on your phone, which then you can download the app. Otherwise, here, all these options are available. Right now, it says availability, which is active. I can. So this is something similar to your online or offline status. You can change that. Do not disturb for all these things. So if, if you, let's say, select do not disturb for next 30 minutes, anyone if they try to send you a message or a video call or call, they will not be able to do it. So that comes pretty handy as the beginning. Another thing is set a status. You can set a status by looking at this, these kind of statuses. People can make up their mind that is it a right time to contact you or not. Very useful in day to day life in the workplaces. Next, if you want to edit any sort of, uh, if you want to make any sort of changes in your profile, you can do so by click uh, by clicking on edit profile. And then if you go to settings, there are a few options that we can look around in the settings part. Now we know how important and how common this dark mode feature is nowadays. If you feel that the computer screen is very high on onto your eyes, you can change the interface. You can change the theme of the software to a dark mode. To do that, you simply head over to the appearance tab and in here you will have a lot of themes already given to you. You can select any one out of it. At pre-default, it would be light, but if you want, you can go with the dark theme by clicking on this default one and then click on save. After that, it will give you an option saying that you have to restart WebEx to apply these changes. And once you click on restart WebEx, you will see that it will load up into the dark mode. So for now, let's stick with the one that they have given to us. Now, in order to create a team and then start and eventually start a meeting in that what you need to do is over here you just click on this you just click on this plus icon at the top corner and then here you will see all these four options available you can schedule a meeting if especially if you are from a workplace i'm assuming you will definitely want to schedule a meeting for later you can do that by clicking on schedule a meeting and then it will give you all these options time and your, if you want to have a password, you can have that. If you want to generate a one-time meeting link, you can also do so. Or if you just want to have one predefined, uh, if, if you want to have a different kind of links every time, you can also do that from this part. And for now, let's just cancel this off. Now, over here, when you go to your calendar section, you will see that they have given you three different options. If you just want to start a meeting like right now on the spot, you don't have to click on schedule a meeting. You just click on start a meeting. 
Now, when you click on start a meeting, obviously it will give you a box where you can select your video if you want to display that by clicking this icon. If you want to change the microphone, let's say if you have plugged in an, uh, plugged in an external microphone, for example, you can click on that and you can select which microphone do you want the system to use. Now, if you feel that it's a pretty big and important meeting and you don't want to mess up and you don't want to leave everything on the last minute, you can click on test speaker and microphone. Once you click on that, it will give you an option to test it. And once you're happy with the volume, the levels and everything, the last point would be clicking on start meeting. Once you click on start meeting, as you would see that right now, it's only me in the meeting, but obviously when you try to schedule it, you will have a lot of people in that. Now in the meeting interface, there's few things that if you are a host of the meeting, you can kind of address these things to your participants so that they feel comfortable when they join with you. Cause there's so many things that are available on this particular page. First thing is if you want the participants to participate in the meeting and if they if, if you want them to give if you want to give them the option to send any sort of messages during the chat to make it more interactive what you can do is there's a chat option right here on the bottom right corner once you click on that a chat dialog box will appear up and it is normally selected as to everyone but if you want you can just select a specific person if you want to send a message to you can type in your message here and after that, once you hit your enter option, it will send that message. If you want to increase the size of this chat dialog box, you can just hold it from this part and then just drag it wherever you want. It will just increase the size of the chat dialog box. And once you're done with that, you can just click on close and it will close the chat dialog box. Now in here, you will have few options given such as share. If you want to share your screen or if you have some sort of content that you want to share, Another thing I can give you a tip is if you want to share a whiteboard where you want to write something, some people over there, they have a, they have kind of a touch screen laptop where you can write anything if you want. What you can do is click on the share option. And here you will see a lot of different tabs that are open up in your particular computer or laptop. You can just select any one, whichever you want, and then click on share and it will start sharing that particular screen. And in terms of whiteboard, if you're using a Windows laptop, we have the Microsoft whiteboard already installed. You can open that or if you do not have any default whiteboard option, you can download pretty much any whiteboard app that is available out there. And especially if you're using a Windows laptop, prefer using the Microsoft whiteboard. It's a free app and you can pretty much do everything and anything in that. So that's the whiteboard that I have. Again, once you go to Cisco WebEx, click on share. Once you have got the Microsoft whiteboard already open, you will see that tab here. You click on that and then you click on share. So right now the whiteboard has been shared with every single person in the meeting. So now whatever you write on that, it would be shared with that person. So it's, it's a great tool that you can use. So let me just exit that. So you click on stop sharing and it will stop sharing the screen and you're back on track. Now, if you, feel that you want to record the meeting, you can definitely do so by clicking on the record option. It will start recording the entire meeting and then you can share it with people via drive link. Or if you want, you can share the complete file as well in, in the USBs or anywhere, if, whatever you want. And then we have these reactions option. So there's many reactions up here, which are very, uh, let's say popular and which are very useful nowadays to make the meetings more interactive. So, thumbs up, clapping hands, celebration, smileys, obviously, wow, sad reaction, thumbs down, all these kind of reactions are there and raise hand, obviously. So all the participants will be having the option to raise their hand. You can also enable and disable these options if you want. You can clearly disable the chat option as well if you want by going in the settings menu again. But this is pretty much how the normal meeting screen will look like and over here, there's another option if you just click these three dots, mute on entry. So we know that if you have attended or if you have conducted few meetings before, you might be aware of the fact that participants do not mute themselves even after you repeat to them 10,000 times. So this is one option that they have given mute on entry. Once you click on mute and entry, anyone who is going to join the meeting, they would be muted automatically. 
and they will not be able to unmute themselves until you allow that person because you would be getting a prompt on your screen saying that that person wants to unmute themselves then you would be in the command you can either agree or you can just disagree with that right so these were all the things that i wanted to discuss with you about the meeting of the webex now if you just click on end meeting and then again end meeting it will obviously just finish off the meeting from here and if you go back to the webex let's go to the options menu again now in settings there's few things that you can work around and figure out before the meeting starts if you want show availability and statuses now if you go to meetings part here is where all the magic and all these things happen you can schedule meetings via webex app scheduler you can also select microsoft outlook because i've seen a lot of companies nowadays using the interface and the technology provided by microsoft itself so if you want that people whosoever is invited they should get a prompt in the calendar of their microsoft outlook app which is the email app of microsoft you can pretty much just click on microsoft outlook and it will send all the prompts to that particular app on every single participant who has been invited now a few more things if you want to just send a message to any particular person who is added with you you just click on the plus sign and then you click on send a direct message once you do so you obviously need to have that person added by the name or email in your company then you can just uh, type in the name of the person or the email id of the person it will definitely show up there if you have added that person in your contacts list and last but not the least i want to talk to you about the teams option now here you can create a team as in it's something similar to creating a group of whatever number of people and then you can start a video call or a meeting with them later on and everyone would be automatically invited how to do so when you go to this second option which is the teams tab here when you click on the plus icon you can name the team let's say my team is the name of my channel describe the team you can write the, the any any sort of description for the team like winners champions or whatever you want to describe your team about and add people by name or email so again once you have added all the names or all the emails up here click on the create option it will take its sweet time and after that you will see that that team would be created and every single person that you have added in that particular app they would be getting a prompt and a notification on their phones or laptops that you have been added in the in that particular team and after that whenever you schedule any sort of meetings they would be getting a straight away notification in their emails that or in their calendars that a meeting has been scheduled then they can accept or decline the meeting if they accept it 15 minutes before the meeting they would be getting another prompt saying that a new meeting is about to be started in next 15 minutes so it's pretty much it works automatically afterwards once you have done the basic things that are required so i hope this video was bit of a help to you especially for beginners out there who are just going to jump into this particular software for their meetings and if you did like this video do hit that like button also if you are new to this channel i do post videos related to different softwares out there considering my passion for technology i keep on exploring different softwares reviewing them testing them coming up with a lot of tutorials for those particular softwares so if you are out there a tech geek and if you want to see a lot of content related to that do consider subscribing so that whenever i post any sort of new videos you guys would be the first one to be getting notified about them with that you guys have a great day stay safe wherever you are and i will see you guys in the next video